Right, question 21. Um, this is parallel lines uh, with angles in them. So what we're looking at doing here, um, let's have a look. Work out the size of angle marked X. So we know A, B, C and D, these are straight lines. So we need this angle here. Um, so personally, I'd put all the angles on that we know. Now you can go, I think of these as railway tracks. You can go across railway tracks, but if you walk along railway tracks, you're eventually going to get hit. So, obviously don't go across railway tracks, but it's just the way that I remember it. Uh, vertically opposite here, this here is 28. And we also have, if this is 30, uh, 53, then in here will be 53 as well. So we've got vertically opposite. Will mean we get equal to 28. This is called a corresponding angle. So corresponding to, and this is CBF. So that equals 53. And then to get EFH, we're going to do 180 degrees, take 53. So that then gives us 127 degrees. So in there, then we have 127. And then we want F, H, E, or just otherwise known as X, basically. So X then is a triangle here we have. So if I do 180, take away 127, and then take away 28 as well. We then got our solution, which is 25 degrees. Then we're on to uh, question 22. So Tim is travelling home from holiday by plane. He buys some food and drink on the plane. He buys two cheese rolls. So I'm just going to put two next to that. So I remember that. Um, a coffee and an orange juice. And he pays part of the cost with a 10 euro note. He pays the rest of the cost in pounds. How much does Tim pay in pounds? So what we've got here... Um, is all our pounds to start with. So let's work out the total cost. So it's two lots of £3.50, which is £7. And then we've got a 2 50 and a 2 25 Sorry, 2 20 sorry, 2 there. And we add these up. That will then give us £11.70. <coughs> now, at that point, we need to convert that into euros so if I divide by 1.25 that'll tell me how many euros um, sorry not divide by at all we're going to time so every pound we'll get 1.25 euros so um, the euros then if we times these two numbers together Which gives us 14 euros and uh, 14.625 euros. So if we take 10 off that, that will then give us 4.625 left. And then if we divide that then by 1.25, that will tell us um, how many pounds we've got left. And then that's three pounds. 70. Um, so that's what then the uh, person needs. Travel on to, tw um, to 23. Factorise the following. So we've got factorising means put the brackets back in. So what number goes into both of these? 2. 2 times what gives you 4x? 2x and plus 2 times what gives you 10? Five. B. Factorise fully. So we've got six y squared plus twelve y. So factorise fully. The biggest number that goes into six and twelve is six, and we can also take a y out because we've got a y squared and a y. Six times what gives us six? One. And then y times what gives us a y squared? Just y. Put a plus. Six y times what gives us twelve y? Two. 
solve the inequality. So first step is to times out this bracket. So 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times 1 is 3. I'm going to take 3 off 10, which gives us 7, and then divide by 6, so x is greater than 7 over 6. Question 24. Translate the above um, by vector of 2 minus 3. So 2 minus, uh, sorry, 3 minus 2, so think of it as just as a coordinate. 3 minus 2 would mean... 3 across and 2 down. So you take a point and you go 3 across and 2 down. And then you would plot similar points. This point here, 3 across, 2 down. And this point here, 3 across and 2 down. You'll then join up. Just do this with a straight line. Join up the points then. And then we'll get those points in there. We then um, go down... This fully described the single transformation that maps A onto B. So A onto B here, we've got a rotation. B here, it's a rotation of 180 degrees and it's through naught naught. Again, you can use tracing paper here to prove that, um, but there'd be three marks. Question 25. Jelly fills some empty flower pots completely with compost. Each flower pot is in the shape of a cylinder, height 15 and radius 6. She has a 15 litre bag of compost. Uh, she fills up each flower pot completely. How many flower pots can she fill? You must show all your working. So first step is to work out the volume of this cylinder. The so first thing to do is work out the area of your circle and we do that by doing pi r squared so pi times by 6 squared so it's 36 basically times by pi which will then give you roughly equal to the 113.1 if I'm just rounding and that's centimeter squared we're going to times that by the depth, which is 15, and that will give us our volume, which is then 1,696 centimetres cubed. So we've got the answer there. And then we next have to then work out from that point, she's got 15 litres in a bag of compost. So we've got to look at some sort of conversion. Um, between the 15 litres. Now 15 litres is the same. One litre is a thousand centimetres cubed. So if we've got one litre is a thousand centimetres cubed, then we've got 15,000 centimetres cubed. We'll times that by a thousand. I'm going to divide that by 169, sorry, 1696 which will then give us um, what we had previously and then we're going to divide that through and that will then make us roughly equal to roughly equal to eight bags and then finally question 26 the ladder is six meters long it's placed on a horizontal ground uh, resting against a vertical wall the instruction for using the ladder said that the bottom of the ladder must not be closer than 1.5 meters from the bottom of the wall. How far can the wall to, can how far can the ladder reach up the wall? So in effect here, um, just doing a rough sketch, we've got a wall here, like so. Um, shall do a better sketch than that. So we've got a, a wall here. Here's the floor, and then we've got some sort of ladder leaning against it. Now we're told the maximum gap here can be 1.5 metres and we also know that the ladder is 6 metres long. So what we then have is a right angle triangle and the question mark is what's the height um, the ladder can reach at maximum. So we've got the longest side, now this is Pythagoras, so it's the longest side squared 
is equal to the square of the other two sides added together. So that's 36. That equals x squared plus and then put 1.5 squared into your calculator. We then take the 2.25 um, off 36. So then get x squared equals 33.75. Then we're looking to square root that. So when we square root 33.75, that will give what we're after. Which is 5.8, and it wants it to one decimal place. So x then will be 5.8 meters.